Hello everyone, uh, Deron Land here with the TFYLP podcast. I'm going to be doing a little live unboxing here, live unpackaging. Um, got uh, Ace Tumbler. It is a third party masterpiece style cliff jumper. Um, nice little box here, nice little package. It's a uh, good sturdy little box, feels like. It comes uh, shrunk wrap. Um, really nice. I got this from our sponsor, uh, our TFYLP sponsor, Captured Prey. Great toys, great prices, great service. You can save even more with the loyalty program, as well as have free domestic shipping on orders of $150 or more. So check out CapturedPrey.com. This guy here runs about $70 bucks at Captured Prey. Um, and uh, I've heard mixed reviews on this guy, but I'm kind of withholding... Uh, withheld my uh, my opinion on it um, until I opened it myself as you can see I've not cracked it open so I've never actually held this toy in person so I want to have uh, my initial reactions here um, I've seen pictures of it and out of all the uh, third-party masterpiece cliff jumpers there's a couple out there right now I know uh, X Transbots I believe has one on the way uh, but in my opinion, I like the way this one looks. Um, it's from what I understand, it's basically a reshell of the masterpiece Bumblebee, um, which I like that figure too. So uh, since Cliff Jumper is supposed to be very similar to Bumblebee, I really don't mind that. So uh, here we go. I'm gonna got out the trusty old uh, Leatherman knife here. I'm gonna cut the tape on it. Let's see how this puppy goes kind of uh, unusual bio on the side I don't know if you've had a chance to read that I don't know if you can read that uh, but um, yeah not not every one uh, of your uh, bios seems to have a, a curse word in it but there's a curse word in there somewhere I, don't remember. Um, I think it says ass or damn or something in it but yeah, I could just rip into it, but where's the fun in that? All right, just kind of pull on that. Pull that little tab out. And crack that open. All right, we've got. Looks like instructions and uh, like a little promo. Um, the the recolor of this uh, and slight remold is uh, hiccups. Uh, it's meant to be hubcap from uh, season three. Sorry, get it in frame there. Um, yeah, I'm probably not going to get that guy because he's not really a top tier character to me. Okay, he comes packaged in a jewel case of sorts. That's unusual. All right, I set the box off to the side here. And that's the way he comes packaged. That's that's a first. I've never seen one come packed in an acrylic case, it looks like. Or a hard or hard plastic. Uh as such, I'm going to figure out how you open this thing. I guess just pull on it. Use my Leatherman here. I'm sorry I'm off camera here. Never actually ran into this type of packaging inside. It's kind of unusual. Uh, I guess I can pry. Down in there. there we go. Got like a little display base with him. Hmm. I guess if you want to pose him jumping up in the air or something, it's kind of like goes on there like that. Pose him on there. Let's 
slide him out here. It's extremely well packaged. I just, I'm really surprised, really impressed with this. And we've got a plastic sleeve. How many more? It's like, I want to get to the toy, damn it. Here we go. All right. I'm hoping this is sufficiently lit, so it's, it looks good on my screen, but we'll see. Uh, take the clamshell off. Of course, you got the BFG that was seen in, uh, I believe it's more than meets the eye. I don't know how this, there we go. That he shot Megatron at, uh, shot at Megatron with. Uh, there, you got basically a, <laughs> Pop that out of there. It looks like a retool copy of Bumblebee's gun because it's got kind of the same kind of shaft thing on it there. Just a different barrel. Or muzzle rather, or whatever. And you got Tumbler. Of course, he comes with a couple extra heads there. Uh, you got the one with the really wide head and the more narrow head, bumblebee-like head. I guess this is more of a comic, I guess, and this is more of a toy accurate, whereas this one seems like it's, let's see if I can get a little more focus, oops, a little more focus here. I don't know if this thing focuses ancient camera. It's a decent head sculpt. Kind of getting situated here. Probably won't transform him right off the bat here. I just want to. I wanted to give my initial feelings on the toy, and looks like he's got some rubber, rubberized mirrors. Um, the feet are die cast. Feels like the roof is die cast. Not a whole lot of kibble. I mean, he's got back kibble, but not terribly bad. Um, looks like he's fairly simple. And it looks like the hood is die cast and the doors are die cast metal. You got rubber tires. Very similar. Actually, the shins are die cast as well. That's nice. You can hear it sit down on the table here on the glass table. Okay, I don't know what that's about. Sorry about that. He's got some decent posing here. You got pretty much the same as Bumblebee, if you're familiar with the masterpiece Bumblebee. Looks like. He's got some limited ankle tilt here, looks like, because the doors kind of get in the way. I guess suppose if you could, if you wanted to open the doors, you'd get a little, a little extra. But I suppose it pegs in there somewhere. I don't know where. I don't know how's it pegged in before. So there you have it, unboxing of Ace Tumbler. Again, you can pick this up at uh, our sponsor, Capture Prey, uh, CapturePrey.com. Great toys, great prices, great service. Um, check out the TFYLP podcast. We broadcast usually uh, on uh, Saturday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, we uh, have a live show, uh, so if you are watching us live, you can interact with us via the YouTube channel. Uh, via the live chat. Uh, you can also tweet us at TFYLP, and we're also on Facebook at facebook.com slash groups slash TFYLP. Uh, I'm Daron Land. Hope to see you next time on TFYLP, and hopefully I'll do another one of these if you like it. Have a good day.